Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm back with another craft. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a stress ball with just these water beads and balloons. And water, but yeah. So, I'm so excited for this video because I have not made a stress ball in so long and it seems so much fun. There is going to be two parts to this video because these water beads have to sit in water for like... Uh like two hours or more so yeah i'll do part two either later today or tomorrow i'm not really sure you just keep them in here until they're big so i'll just post whenever yeah so i'm not really sure when part two is going to be up but either today or tomorrow but here's part one um so yeah yesterday so the day after yesterday i did a cooking video yesterday i did a craft paper fortune teller go check that out it, I don't think it was, it's uploaded yet, but once it is uploaded, go check that out. And today is kind of, I'm calling it a craft. So yeah, back with another craft. So yeah, before I start, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a like if you like these kind of videos. Ding the notification bell to be notified whenever I post new videos. And comment down below if you guys have ever made a stress ball and like how did it turn out for you. So... I've never really used these type of water beads. I usually, like, for my stress balls, I put in slime, so it's, like, squishy. So I've never really used these water beads, so I'm not really sure how they work. But, yeah, here's part two. Also, guys, I have a new slime to add to my collection that I'm going to introduce you. I got this slime yesterday at Walmart just because I had some extra money, and this slime looks super cool. Here's what the container looks like. It's a Nickelodeon slime, which these type of slimes are literally the best. Uh, this one's called Tropical Punch. Oh, shoot. Okay. And here's what the slime looks like. It's like a light blue. If you can see that. And it has like red pom-poms, little lemon charms. And uh, my favorite part, they have these little like sponge bits. I'll try and get one out for you because they're like so cool and you can like squish them. See? I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little sponge. Little sponge bits. I don't know. But it's a really good slime and I love it. So it's like fruit punch with the lemon and cherries and all that. So yeah. New slime to add to my collection. Uh, also, the only thing I don't like about these kind of Nickelodeon slimes is the container. The slime is so hard to get out of. So, but that's all. Like, the slime in general is really good. But just the container, I don't know. It's so hard to get all the slime out. But anyway. Okay, so let's get started in making this stress ball. So what you're gonna need is any kind of balloons you want. I just got these blue colored normal balloons at Walmart yesterday. I got both these, all these things at Walmart yesterday. So any kind of balloons you would like. Um, and you can make your stress ball with like slime, like you can put slime in that. But I have learned that it is so hard to do that, to like put slime in it. So I'm just gonna tell you that now. So, I think these water beads, they're like Orbeez, you know? You know what those are? So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to put this slime back in the container, so hold on. Okay. So, they look like this. They're just called water beads. Uh, the brand I got is Squishos. They just look like this, and the instructions are on the back. Uh, you'll also need about two cups of water and like a little measuring spoon. Uh, and then, of course, you'll tie them at the end. So, yeah, I think you just need balloons, water beads, and water. So, let's get this started, I guess. Okay, number one. I'm going along the instructions to make these. Fill a large container with two cups of water. Add more if necessary. Okay, so I have two cups right here. Take two teaspoons of water beads and place them in your water. So this is a teaspoon, so I'm gonna do two of these. 
Okay, so I'm really scared that these are like gonna spill everywhere and then like it was all like wasted. So I really hope that doesn't happen. So I'm gonna open them very, very carefully. Uh oh, wait. Um, hmm. This is kind of questionable. Okay, here we go. That's what they look like. They are so tiny. And they're just going to get so big, so. Okay, there's one teaspoon. Also, it didn't say cold or hot water, so I mine was kind of cold. So, we'll try this. Okay. There we go. But, like, you can make a lot of stress with this, though. So that's what it looks like. They just look like little like nerds, like the candy in water. They're still, like really tiny at first. Okay, let's see what it says next. Number three, let the water beads sit for two hours up to 24 hours for full growth. So yeah, like I said earlier, we're gonna have to let these sit until they like increase in size. Like they should be like, kind of like, like quarter size or something like that. So yeah, I'm gonna let this sit here, right here on my slime station. And I'm gonna check like every two hours or so. And once they uh, like are increased and